Yeah, hi guys. Uh, so look at this question here. A fantastic question. A beautiful concept is underlying here. Okay, so let us prove that. This question says that few consecutive natural numbers starting from one are written on blackboard. And however, one of the numbers is written twice. If average of all the written numbers is twenty five five by seventeen, find the number written twice. Okay. Now understand this, guys. Basically, uh, it says that the natural numbers starting starting from one are written on blackboard and one of the numbers is written twice okay and average of all the written numbers is 25 5 by 17 just, just read this as basically read this as 25 5 by 17 a mixed fraction see a mixed fraction here okay now okay just look at this concept here guys so basically uh the first concept here is uh let me discuss all these concepts one by one in line in such question actually okay so the first concept underlying here is once you uh once you uh, once you take the average of conservative natural numbers right for example let's say i take the average of average of 1 to 40 1 2 3 written like this till 40 okay so what is the average will be we have discussed in the averages classes right average is first term plus last term by 2 so first term plus last term by 2 that is 21.5 okay so the point here is the average will be though uh, there's a sub this average whatever is the average this this number is roughly I can say that this number is roughly double not exactly but yeah that is roughly double of this number because we are ultimately doing half here that is roughly double of that number right okay take one more example like suppose I take average of 1 to 100 the average of 1 to 100 is what I think it is first term is 1 last term is 100 1 plus 100 by 2 is 101.5 1 to 100 I mean to say like 1, 2, 3, 4 till 100. Okay. Consecutive natural numbers till 100. So if you see here, so uh, sorry, the average becomes only 50.5. Okay. So average will be what? Average will be 50.5 here. So once the average is 50.5, so that actually means that now it is 100, now it is 50.5. Okay. So you can see it is roughly double, right? So there are 100 natural numbers here. There are 100 natural numbers here. So average is roughly half, uh, roughly half right? So it will roughly double of this. Okay, roughly double. So that's the concept, right? So basically, uh, even if so, just uh, get this concept that even if I remove one number, okay, let's say I remove some number from here, it won't impact my average much, right? If if I remove one number, let's say for example, if I remove one number, so if I remove, let's say I remove one number and make sure that's the largest number, let's say that is if I remove hundred here, right? So average of let's say one to ninety nine. So if I remove one from one to hundred. If I remove the maximum number also, so the average of 1 to 99, okay, so average of 1 to 99 will be again 1 plus 99 by 2, that will be around 50 only, right? But still, that is still double, right? Roughly double. So I'm not saying, I'm never saying exactly, right? It's almost roughly double, okay, roughly double, okay. Similarly, in this question, if I've written one number twice, okay, okay, so if I've written some number twice, so let's say for example, if I write a number twice here, Okay, the average, if you say here, see here guys, like for example, take average of 1 to 10. So 1 to 10, the average will be 1 plus 10 by 2, that is 11.5. Okay, sorry, 5.5. Average is first term plus last term by 2, we have discussed in the average classes. Okay, this 5.5. Now also, average is of 1 to 10 is 5.5. Now can I, can I say that if I write 1, 1 and then I take till 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, till 10. And I take one case here, when I take, I take 10, 10, 2 times. Average of 1, 2, 3. And let's say I write 10, 2 times here. Okay. So, if I, if I do, if I, if I calculate averages in both these cases, right? So, if I try to calculate average in both these cases, you'll come to know that the average here will be sum of 1 to 10 is 55. Okay. Sum of 1 to 10 is 55, 55 plus 1, 56. And now there are 11 numbers here. So average is 56 by 11. It's still 5 point, because something 5 point something, right? Let's suppose, suppose 5.09. Okay. It's still it is double. And you're getting it, right? All of you. So it, 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 it doesn't make any impact to my answer, right? It's still double here. It, it's still double. Okay. Now, uh, average of 1 to uh, 10, like here. Okay. Now, if it is 1 to 10, now again, the 1 to 10 sum is 55 and plus 10 is 65, okay? Now, 65 by 
uh, 11 again now there are 11 numbers right okay it's around around roughly 6 getting it so now there are total 11 numbers here okay 11 numbers here and it's still roughly double okay so this 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 will not will not change right this will never impact my answer actually okay so i can treat like average even if i've written uh, uh, two times i've removed one number in the questions like this still i can say that it is always average is roughly around half any time okay of the total number right so now if i use this concept in this question here so i'll say that see what what my thought process will be so my thought process behind such question is actually if the, i'll think that there are the middle number is around 25 okay i'll think that middle number is around 25 okay now when middle number is around 25 so i can say that the total number of numbers okay the total number of numbers that is written numbers will be around 50 will be around 50 can i say that right so total will be around 50 and then understand this guys that as after calculating the average if i calculate the average of all the written numbers and mind you these this written numbers will take that uh, will take into that number uh, uh, that number also okay which is written twice it will take that that also into account okay so i can say that the if the average of all the written numbers the denominator is 17 now that's an important clue here right the denominator is 17 so if denominator is 17 so what what is the concept is actually the sum is uh, sorry the average is always sum upon n so average is always sum upon n so can i say that the then n is n is 17 right it's in, in something 17 right so it's a ratio no so after cancelling and all Uh, there would something be uh, by uh, there would the sum would be some number and if I cancel something uh, numerator by denominator if I cancel it then I'm left with seventeen here that means the total number of number should be a multiple of seventeen around fifty a multiple of seventeen around fifty very important logic okay multiple of seventeen around fifty right now a multiple of seventeen around fifty is only fifty one that is only fifty one. that's it there's no other multiple of 17 around 50 right so the logic will be in this question okay so i can say that some uh, if if i calculate here so that basically means that if there are 51 numbers here okay that means for sure 1 to 50 would have been written ha huh? and any one of these numbers would have been written twice so this place can take up any number from 1 to 50 i could take 1 or 2 or 3 like that i could go to 50 so this one this 51st number can be anything from between 1 from among 1 to 50 right so this uh, this 1 to 1 to 50 and one of these numbers would be written twice here okay so i can say that sum of 1 to 50 right so if i calculate sum of 1 to 50 so sum of 1 to 50 is equal to 50 into 51 by 2 that is equal to 1275 because i know that sum of n numbers i know that sum of first n natural numbers sum of first n natural numbers that is 1 plus 2 plus till n is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2 so sum of first 50 natural numbers is 1275 right and in my case in my case i can get sum of these numbers right so sum of sum of written 21 for written 51 numbers so what is sum guys sum is always average into n now what is the average here so average is equal to 25 5 by 17 that is 25 into 17 uh is uh, 425 plus 15 440 440 by 17 so average is 440 this 25 5 17 is equal to 440 by 17 right Ah, uh, and into fifty one, into fifty one. If I cancel it, I'll say it is one three two zero. Okay, so it is one three two zero. That means the sum of these fifty one numbers is one three two zero, and sum of these fifty numbers is one two seven five. That means that means the repeated number will be what? The repeated number will be 
1320 minus 1275 that is equal to 45. So 45 is the answer for this fantastic question and it's a great concept. Okay, it's that it's a great concept. You should know this concept, right? And you should, you should preserve this concept. Okay. One of the favorite mock questions in any, every year in all the famous mocks, you'll see this kind of question. Okay. So sum of uh, written 51 numbers I just calculated is equal to what? 1320 and sum of the 50 numbers is 1275. That's the logic, right? The logic is basically the average is around, our uh, average is roughly half, okay, of the total numbers. That means whatever is the average, the total number of numbers will be roughly double, okay. If I write one more number, if I remove one or two numbers, right, that will remain near average. It won't make much impact, right? And there's more detail to this video. I'll tell, I'll tell you one uh, in the uh, one more concept here. Uh, I'll tell you, okay, in this video only about this this thing here. Let me write this here only, okay. So one more important concept underlies here. Uh, underlying here is. That deviation concept, right? That is a deviation concept. Okay. Deviation concept. So deviation concept basically means what? See, uh, it basically means that if there are it, such questions are basically asked, if I try to remove one or number, one number, two number. Okay. So if, if this the basically, if let's take example, if I take the average from one to one to 40 consecutively, right? What is the average here? So average will be 40, uh, sorry, 40 first term plus last term by two is equal to 21.5. Fine. Now let's say I remove the maximum number. So in one case, I remove the maximum number. So I removed 40. So what is the average of one to 39? So the one to 39, the average word. So I've removed 40, right? In the four, in one case, I have removed 40. I have removed 40. Okay, that is a maximum number, right? We'll see what is the maximum deviation possible. Okay, so 1 to 39, what is the sum here? That's some, uh, what is the average here? Again, first term plus last term by 2. That is 20. Okay, uh, sorry, 20, uh, 20 point, yeah, correct, right? So if I, if I remove the maximum number here, okay, this, uh, I think, okay, this is 20.5, guys, this is a mistake here, okay, 20.5, this is 20, okay? And now if I take this sum from 1 to 41, sorry, not 41. If I, in one case, if I remove the minimum number here, right? So in one case, I remove the maximum number 40. Now let's remove the minimum number one. So if I remove the, remove one, that is the minimum number. So what is the average of the rest of the numbers? So if you see here, the, the average of rest of the numbers is what? 1 to 40. I think 1 to, yeah, uh, 1 I've removed, no? So let's start from 2. So 2 to 40. So average of 2 to 40 is what? Again, this is an AP, right? Again, an uh, AP. So in AP, we know that average of all terms is what? First term plus last term by 2. Taught you this in AP, it is also in every video also. So again, what is the average? First term plus last term by 2. So 40, uh, this is uh, a first term and plus last term by 2. Okay. So average will be 21. So you can see the maximum deviation guys. Okay. The thing here is the average of 40 numbers was 20.5. So if I remove one number, the average, if I remove the maximum number, the average can drop down to 20. It cannot go beyond 20. And if I remove the minimum number, the average will go up to 21. It can't be more than one, right? So if it is 20.5, the average can be at most, at most deviation by plus minus 0.5. So plus minus 0.5 is the deviation. Okay. So if 20.5 is the original average and it is applicable to every number, right? If 20.5 is the original average. Okay. So average deviation is by, if I remove the maximum number, it can decrease a minimum to 20. It cannot go beyond uh, less than 20, right? And if I remove the minimum number, it can go maximum up to 21. It cannot go more than that, right? So from 20.5, the deviation is plus minus 0.5. It is true for all, all, right? You can take any number here, okay? If you remove one number, okay? If you remove one number, let me write this as a concept, right? Okay, so if we remove one number, then the deviation is, deviation is 
plus minus 0.5 okay now keep this concept guys so same concept i'll be discussing in next video that is another fantastic question of average okay so same concept i'll be doing for two numbers okay in the next video again a great question in the next video okay about the same concept okay